Welcome to Straight Talk. Today, I have a special guest to visit with. I'd like to introduce C.T. Wang, the president of Innova Nanojet Technologies. C.T., how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you, Jeff? Pretty good. You want to get started? Yes. First burning question, what is Innova Nanojet? Okay. I answer in two aspects. What is our company and what is Nanojet Technology? Okay. Innova Nanojet Technology is a UK-based technology and product company. We design, develop, or manufacture our product in UK. So this is a product of UK. We are headquartered in Dumbarton, Scotland. Uh, that is 20 miles away from the downtown of the state of Glasgow. People may know Glasgow, not know in the Dumbarton, okay. We have developed a groundbreaking platform technology called Nanojet technology. With this platform technology, we are able to create a breaking through spray systems, spray liquid, okay? That can generate uh, and also spray training so for supersonic and ultra fine nano sized droplet with mixture of the liquid and the air. The liquid can be water or can be others, okay? This technology and the spray systems can be applied to more than 40 different industries, okay, such as, uh, you know, personal and public health, food and agriculture, residential housing and the consumer buildings, uh, clean transportation with internal combustion engine and the fossil fuel, but we can make the clean. The second one is a clean social inf infrastructure and power generation. We mean power generation use uh, coal fired or fossil fuel, you know, power, power plants. We can reduce their emission to the minimum. Okay. Then we can also apply this one for a national security and public safety by anti chemical, biological, radioactive and a nuclear attack. These two also come up in those areas. So using nanojet technologies, those industries, you know, they can create a new product and a service or significantly enhance their current, you know, products and services. So that is uh, what are the nanojet. <laughs> Very impressive. So those watching this are in the cleaning industry. What projects have you spearheaded that you're proud of that would affect the cleaners? Okay. So the air pollution with the allergens, odors, fungal spores, bacteria, and the virus, and also particulates and the dust, okay. They are causing significant health problems and risks for mankind. You know, in the last uh, three years, actually four years from 2020, right? The aerosol transmitted a COVID-19 virus pandemic, you know, has been bringing the global community tremendous sacrifice of human beings. You know, we have like a, more than like a 8 million people died. Okay. Hundreds of millions of people infected. Okay. Some people still suffer, you know, health, you know, problem with the pandemic. So clean air for life becomes one of our key missions. Okay. Clean air for life means when there is a pandemic with clean air, we can save life because we disinfect the air. In the, the peaceful time, we can, you know, everybody enjoy clean, you know, air, just like we, everybody wants to clean water. We need also clean air also for our life to raise our standards, okay? So therefore, the first application of our technology is try to develop some tools currently that is a lack in the market clean air 
because in last hundred years, there are 11 pandemics, starting from Spanish flu, okay, to COVID-19. The virus is always transmitted through the air. We call the aerosol virus. It, it can be very quick in large scale, in fact, many people. However, in the last hundred years, we always uh, clean surface, uh, clean hand, uh, everything on surface. There's nobody address the clean air, you know, uh, importance. This may be also related to some, you know, regulation requirements. If you want to clean indoor, you have to move people out. After this disinfection, you have to wait many hours until you know be checked out the right, people can move in. So there's nobody there to do that. Okay, there's a regulations on how to do the indoor air disinfection. So we need some safe, effective, fast tools. So we found out that there was no such tools. But our technology happened in, we think we can do it. So we create a disruptive technology that works the product. We can basically use the water only fast in many. So I need to say today, 99% clean and disinfecting it. So the first product we call the SEDA stands for clean, disinfecting. We just put it all together, you know, just say that it's our product. I mean. And then, so right now we have two products. We want to say that model H. That is for home, hospital, hotel, restaurant, schools, office, you know, some stores. Okay, it's a uh, bonus. Home use also can be a medium duty, you know. A, Commercial application. Okay. Then we have another one for the large indoor space, like an airport, large, you know, office space. We create an autonomous robotic spray system called the SEDA BOT. So CDA plus BOT of SEDA BOT is our autonomous you know, particle one. That's for the large indoor space. So basically, we can use these tools. We can very, very fast, very, very efficiently clean and disinfect the air just to use water. This is our unique. There's a, this is the first one in the world. We have this tool. We hope we can basically prepare the whole community for next time. Once there's an aerosol transmission with our technology, we can block or remove aerosol virus. So you, you may ask why is it, this technology works, why the nitro size matters. When you spray something becomes a line, you create a huge area, just like you spray, uh, make it like the, the lid, they fix the big black the virus, now, I get them together, you know, that force them to drop out of the air. Because the virus is very, very small. They're around, to, you know, 200 or less, 200 nanometer or less. Like a human hair is 70,000 nanometer. So the, the virus is very small. So we have to able to generate this nanosize or the very small nanosize so you can capture this. So, like in our city, 90% of the droplet is within 100 nanometers. Like we, we did a test on a virus called the MSP, which is 20 nanometer size, equivalent to the influenza. Okay. In that test, we use water, we can have 90% of it. In that test. All right. So, so. Who's the mastermind behind all this? Well, it's a group of people. <laughs> we have a scientist, we have a you know, engineer, we have a third. I came from Gen Motors, from the MD. Okay. It's probably just a 
لكن ايه بروجي فعلا اصلا لاين ده يعني ليش عشان كده مو فاهم انا مش مو فاهم دي اوسو كانتيبل مو كانتيبل تو دي well ct great innovations the industry now knows about innova nanojet and thank you for your time thank you